Hey guys, welcome back to Just So Board again. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the insulation on your line set. So I'm out here at my condenser unit outside of my house. And as you can see, the sun has worn down the insulation and the tape on the lines. So we're going to go ahead and replace it. Here is the tape. It is actually called line set tape. I got it at Home Depot. They sell it at Lowe's. You can get it on Amazon as usual. Uh, it's UV resistant and there is all weather tape that you could probably use but since I live like I said in Arizona uh, I definitely need the UV resistant and as you can tell that was also UV resistant and it only lasted about three and a half four years so the sun really takes a beating out here and then the insulation right here it's, uh, they sell it also at Home Depot and Lowe's I think it ran about eight bucks and it gives you about six feet which is more than enough for what I need here so I'm going to go ahead and uh, show you how to replace this. We'll start by cutting it open. So here we go. Okay, so I got started a little bit. All I did was I scored it and I didn't go all the way deep or all the way to the pipe just because I'll show you right here. They also hid the wiring and you definitely don't want to cut your wiring. So all I did was barely score it. I tried to find the wire before I did that. And after you score it, you can actually kind of open it up and since like I said it's falling apart so you can kind of peel it off so I'll keep removing it just little by little and you'll find your exposed pipe here and be gentle with everything you don't want to ruin the pipe or the wiring or he will be in a lot of trouble or in a lot of extra work so sorry about that if I'm moving thing around as usual I'm doing it one-handed so there you go removed it all now I'm gonna go ahead and put the new piece so first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna Hold up your insulation and then, sorry about that, I recommend just kind of measuring it out to what you need and then just cut it where you need it. So I'll go ahead and cut this out and come back and show you. Okay, so I went ahead and cut it. As you can see it, I put it on. Now you're just going to, here you're going to have to just remove this plastic here. And it's both it has it on both sides when you remove this plastic it actually has glue and it seals it it does a pretty decent job but you still want to tape it up afterwards the tape but i only did the one line i'm going to do the next line here in a second and i'll come back and show you all right sorry i'm trying not to create a shadow here but i have now placed the two pieces of insulation on both pipes I recommend that after you bring the two pieces together, you seal them, you flip the insulation over. So that way that seam's not up here. It's actually down below. That way for some reason you didn't seal that insulation very good and even with tape over it, water won't get in there. And that way water always goes down or out instead of getting stuck inside of here and dripping over. So let's go ahead and tape it up and I'll show you the final result. All right, folks, so there's the final product. I've wrapped it all the way up, all the way down. I even went as far as having a little piece of insulation left, and I placed it right there. And actually, that's where the wire is at. I figured I might as well use it. It's, there's no real rhyme or reason for it besides that it'll just protect it from the sun. Uh, the wiring can get damaged pretty badly by the sun. And the last thing you want to do is have to replace some wiring or splice wiring. But there you go. Simple, easy maintenance project. Keep your lines protected. Keep them out with the elements. Um, I also should have pointed out that the insulation that I use down there, I use three quarter. You can use different sizing depending on your uh, lines you have. They sell half inch, three quarter, and one inch. Like I said, Home Depot and Lowe's, they range from like five bucks to eight bucks, about four, six feet. But simple, five, 10 minute project. Keep things nice and tidy. Keep things running well. And I'll do another video here shortly on how to clean the fins on the condenser, but I'll get into that later. 
But any questions or anything, feel free to ask. But I hope you enjoyed the video. Catch us next time when we're just so bored again. We can make another video. Later.